What's up gamers? Welcome to our concept of the week video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about an NFL concept and how it translates to Madden. Today's concept that I chose comes from a shotgun uh, doubles type formation and the play is shallow cross uh, and we can build this off of several different plays in the game here. Uh, but the play that we're going to build it off of is going to be the, uh, actually we're going to have to use a different formation, uh, but it, it typically comes from a 2x2 two two look here. So the play we're going to build it off of here is going to be the, well we'll just build it off of this one. So we'll build it off the doubles and we're going to build it off of the play uh, called uh, weak flood here. So we'll use that play and uh, basically what the shallow cross is is you're trying to uh, get a big play with it. Alright, and what we like to do here if I uh, if I remember correctly on how I like to set this up is you want to leave Matt Forte on that blue route the block and release pattern. The next thing you want to do is take this Brandon Marshall route here and put him on a drag. Okay. Um, then what you want to do is take Martellus Bennett, put him on a deep in route, or you could do the other way around. Um, let's take a look at the actual post here and make sure I've got this right because I had it set up the other day out of the Giants book and I just sim I just had Tampa this morning so I because I broke down some videos this morning, so let's take a look at this again here. Alright, let's see if I can find it. While I'm doing, okay, here it is. So, while I'm doing this, though, you guys can check out my, uh, if you would, if you can check out my video, or uh, my live stream channel for this weekend, be sure you go over and do that, the twitch.tv slash cmboward0531. Uh, it's going to be a huge live stream, guys, and I hope that you guys are going to be a part of it, uh, because I think it's going to be useful to you, it's going to give you some games against me, and it's going to useful, be useful to me, because it's going to get me involved with you guys outside of YouTube. I think it could be a potentially big deal, so check it out, and uh, subscribe if you would, please. Uh, okay, so here's what you want to do. So you want to take Brandon Marshall, put him on that smart routed in route, then you're going to take Martellus Bennett and put him on a streak. And then you're going to take Earl Bennett here. And I like to put him on an in route. The actual post says to put him on a drag route. But I don't think the drag route, I think it goes to a little bit too fast. So I'm going to put him on an in route. And against two men under, he's going to be your primary read here. Uh, you see the two men under coverage. Does a good job at covering everything else. So you can you, you just take that route to Earl Bennett. Um, another thing real quick, if your opponent happens to be using Earl Bennett, this deep pose with a pass lead, and the Seahawks have tremendous blitzing pressure. Um, but the deep pose with a pass lead inside does a really nice job at beating that. As you see, pass to the inside, click on like a user catch if they're using the underneath route. So that's all I like to have against man. I want it to mainly, it's a zone beating concept anyway. So, first and foremost, we'll take a look at a cover two sink. And this play does a really nice job at this. The main point of this play is to give Earl Bennett something underneath just to give a, a nice little quick open area. And it's a very nice stretch. And you see, it does a really nice job there of getting Earl Bennett open against the cover two. And then real quickly here, we want to show you this against the cover three. And you see that Earl Bennett will now serve as like a suck down route, basically. And this post in behind it does a really nice job at getting open against the cover three. And then uh, progressing on, we'll take one more look here at the cover four. Okay, so the cover four. And you'll see that this in route to Brandon Marshall does a really nice job at beating the cover four if you can get some time in the pocket. Unfortunately... I uh, didn't get any time here, but let's take a look at this one more time um, and show you that this in route does a nice job at beating the cover four defense. So you see the crossing route's going to come across, and Jay Cutler needs to make a better throw there. But the crossing route's going to come across the formation, and it's going to suck down that in route, or excuse me, that hook zone to the to the uh, backer there. So you can hit, there's a very, it's a very fine little point here at where you're going to hit this in route. As you saw the last couple of times, uh, the linebacker has actually jumped it, which is a little bit odd. 
but you'll see here passing up and there you see you can fit that in right in behind it uh, so you may, you probably want to try pass leading up if you're having issues with this thing but uh, it's a really nice little play and the, the as far as the tight end route he's mainly just a runoff route but you can hit him in the seams against the cover four you can also hit him in the seams against the cover three but that's kind of a that's kind of a, a read that you kind of only hit if they're giving it to you uh, whereas the other reads are kind of really good all around see there they weren't giving it to me but say for example they're trying to uh, stop this route to Earl Bennett so they're gonna drop like a spy or something and they're gonna use it and to mimic that we're gonna use a spy well now you'll see this route to Bennett's gonna be wide open up the seams and that's what I'm talking about as far as that's what he's only there in case they give us something like that but that's how we like to use the shallow dig cross concept in Madden 25 I hope you got something out of this video if there was something that you didn't find clear or unclear uh, excuse me, if there was something that you found that you maybe not have understood, uh, please let me know in the comments so that I can answer your questions and uh, hopefully clear up any, any unclear uh, thought that I had made in the video. So thanks for your time today, and we'll talk to you guys later.